it's Kia and I am here to chat with you about some of the stuff that I recently just added to the site um, in case there are any questions or inquiries I'm gonna try my hardest to kind of like answer or talk about things that someone could possibly bring up um, and then you guys can feel free to leave comments below and let me know if there's anything else that you want to know regarding the pieces but I actually dropped two items last um, week before last and um, one was the leather skirt it's the faux leather skirt it's not real leather <laughs> but it resembles leather and I really really love this piece because I feel like it's a good resemblance of a leather it's not super shiny it has like a dullness to it and that's one of the things that i look for when i'm shopping for pieces that are to resemble leather is i don't want it to be shiny um so this is a good one um this is actually the same vendor as the burgundy leather skirt that i had last fall and for those who actually purchased that one there was a that sizing it ran it ran large for the cut um so if you typically wore a medium you probably could get in a small in that particular skirt now although it is the same vendor the cut is totally different i was in a medium in this and i wish i could think about getting in a small like this is it either a medium or large <laughs> um so this one is not cut like the other one um, it's definitely cut more true to size. Um, I liked it though because I felt like it like hugged and it was more like pencil-y and that's what I look for when I'm getting um, leather skirts or pencil leather skirts. I want them to really fit and hug so this one did it for me. Um, it has a slit in the center. Um, Definitely has some stretch, but I do have a few pointers when it comes to trying to figure out if you can wear this skirt. My waist is about a 31. Yeah, 31. And this top part of the skirt, the very top where that seam is at, to about here where that you can see where the lining stops because the, the skirt is lined at the, at the top. So about this much of the skirt does not stretch from here to here no stretch sorry my nails suck I'm telling you I need to take the polish off haven't gotten around to it I would do it as soon as this video is over but don't judge me <laughs> but um so yeah the very top of the skirt does not stretch so and the measurement of this very top of the skirt for me it's about here like I wear my leather pencil skirts above my belly button so when I say waist measurement this is the number that I'm looking for right in here where this belt is at is the number that I'm looking for and that's what you need to be for medium a 31 or below or a 32 and below for medium um, now if you get a little if your belly is bigger like of course it's gonna be smaller it's gonna start getting larger down here that's fine because this part of the skirt stretches see <laughs> it has give to it so underneath right when you pass that um, lining it gives you know to fit around whatever belly you might have going on so um, if your belly button measurement is more like a 34 36 you're fine you can still wear this now what i will say is don't buy the skirt if you're insecure about your little belly or your fupa because even when you wear a girdle you're still probably going to see the indention of your belly and um it's just something you got to be okay with but that's just a leather thing period whenever you merge into the leather realm of things you have to be okay with showing creases that you might not want to show any other time but I feel like you can always wear a top to cover it or whatever. Like kind of something you just got to embrace, especially to wear certain items. But I love this piece, guys. It's super chill. Like you can dress it up. You can dress it down. You can kind of make it kind of rocky with some combat boots and a graphic tee. So much you can do with a leather skirt. Great fall have. So that's my opinion with that. The other part piece that I'm going to talk about is the Black Radiance Jumper. Yes, I did a lot of black this go round because black is amazing. 
No, and I have so many customers that are like, oh, is that going to come in black? So for me right now, I feel like where we are in business, like we have to, if I see something in multiple colors, I'm, we're not in a place where I can just buy multiple colors. I have to go with the most popular color or not even popular i have to pick and choose that's what i'll say is i have to pick and choose colors so sometimes when i go with certain items i'm like all right let me just get black um like that leather skirt they had it in like a green color oh, i wanted it so bad but my clientele always wants black so i was like okay let me at least just try this black first and see how that goes so this black radiance jumper this only came in one color i probably wouldn't have chosen any other color anyway because this is just like the perfect black jumper i feel like everybody should have like a black jumper in their closet um and it should be this <laughs> no but no seriously i love it i feel like it's very forgiving it has like a lot of it's made to be like oversized and roomy so um various shapes like this is the medium i have right here in my hand um and the large gets even more forgiving i definitely want to say in this piece you can actually wear a up to 18 and be be okay with this so it's not as strict sizing wise and i'm really proud about that because people you know don't understand that i really want to get into plus size at some point but i'm just not at a point where i can do it quite yet you know and i haven't uh, found a vendor with style and quality that I um, appreciate enough to purchase and to put on my site and so nope I, I haven't done it yet ladies but trust me it's not because I don't want to cater to you it's because I'm still searching and I have er heard other um, boutiques and retailers like talk about the same exact thing it's not that we don't want to cater to you it's just so limited when it comes to like quality and style like I want you to be classy but I want your stuff to feel good too I don't want your stuff to be feeling like cheap you know or looking real homely with lace in really weird places and I feel like that's what you bump into you when you go into these um, plus size wholesalers so I'm looking, I have a feeling that I won't dab into plus size until I can actually make plus size. And I am interested in making my own pieces at some point. So trust me, the minute I can start making my own pieces, oh, y'all get some stuff too. Believe that. <laughs> it's really long, I will say that. The length of the pant measures out to be about a little over 34 inches long. And that's long. But I'd rather have long stuff on my site than have really short stuff on my site. Stuff that people who are tall can't purchase. I'd rather have stuff that's long where if you're short, you can have it hemmed. And it's a real easy hem. Real easy hem. So I'd rather have something like this where you can literally go have it snipped and hemmed in like minutes rather than stuff that's like, oh, that's cute, but I'm too tall to have it. Cause that eliminates a whole group of women for me so no i don't want to eliminate y'all i want to try to cater to y'all so again i'm gonna have stuff that's not tall long enough for tall women but please believe it's not by choice not by choice at all um this piece actually has elastic in the waistband that's all of that y'all all it all, all of that It has a kimono style um, sleeve. So you don't gotta worry about your arms being all crazy. It is a deep V in the front and in the back. So this is the back. It's not as deep as the front. This is the back. And I wanna say when I wore it, about that much of my bra showed. I'm trying to show you that on the beak. Maybe like that much of my bra. But I didn't care. I, have, I had on a black bra. And I wore a full bra, guys. So a fully padded push-up bra I wore with this. And if you look at my pictures, which I'll try to insert. So it's a great piece, guys. Great when you got like um, dinners to go to or you got a date or you might have a work function or something you just want to be really chic and cute with with some pumps and a clutch. A big earring done easy so those are those pieces um, the next time I come to you I plan on talking about the high waist pant 
I kind of doubled up on our inventory because we got such a big response about like the colors and the preferences that people had. Um, so I'll talk about them a little bit just in case there's some questions. Maybe I'll even try to try them on for you in front of the camera. I don't know how that's going to work. I'll try to see what I can do. If you guys got any suggestions as to like what you might want to see about the paint, let me know and I'll try to um, give you whatever it is that you're looking for. Um, that's about it, guys. I said that I would probably end every video talking about something other than nude style. Uh, whether it be hair, whether it be makeup, whether it be like a great find at a thrift store or something like that. Because I am a thrifter. I used to be against thr thrifting. But I am a thrifter now. And I've gotten some really great pieces. So, um, <laughs> maybe I'll talk about some of those one day. But um, for now, I'll just talk about like my lip and what lip color I have on. I have on um, a Clinique and it is called Tender Heart. It has like a moisture drop in the center. But you know, when I put it on, of course it smeared it. But yeah, it has like a little white drop in the center. So I'm assuming it's moisture. I don't really know. But I like this lipstick. It's really, um, it's good for every day. It's neutral, you know. Um, I like it a lot. So this one actually stays in my clutch. Well, not my clutch, but my little makeup bag that I carry in my purse. Um, excuse me. My lip is, um, lined with. A wet and wild yeah guys this is nothing this is in my budget okay wet and wild lip lip liner <laughs> and the color is brandy wine and it's 666 I'm mm, that's the number though y'all I ain't saying that again but <laughs> that's the number And I have a little bit of a gloss on top. And the gloss is made by Carl Lagerfeld. I believe I'm saying that right. I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong. Lagerfeld and uh, Model Co. Has a little mirror on the back. But what's dope is that, yes, you see that. Your eyes are not deceiving you lights up and you can kind of like isn't that cute oh my god in the car in a party wherever it's dark so I like it I put a little bit on top of my lipstick and my lip liner and that's my lip um, I like my highlighter. I meant to bring it in here. I'm gonna have to talk about that another day, I guess. But it's made by MAC. I don't like to look tinman ish I like just a little bit of a boop. And I feel like it does this for me. And I'm sorry, I don't have the highlighter with me. But maybe I'll try to still list it in the description below. My lashes... These are made by e.l.f. Let me tell y'all. I, I love shopping at drugstores for my makeup. Kill me. Um, My lashes, I just realized like, uh, Rite Aid? Rite Aid? Is it Rite Aid? Yeah, I think it's Rite Aid. They actually have like e.l.f. stuff and they got some lashes in the black box. And bruh, these lashes are the truth. These things like are durable and they last and you can easily pull the glue off and keep re reusing them. So I'm here for it. Spend your little five dollars because you're going to get at least a good five or six wears out of them. So a dollar a wear. All right, I'm going to go now, guys. Stay tuned. Visit next time. We will definitely be talking about the high waist pant. Leave me some questions if you got any questions below. Like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll look forward to chatting with you guys soon.